shagging kit. What? You know, baby, shag. As in shag me senseless, shag me stupid, shag, shag me do. I still don't get it. Oh, you will, baby, you will. <laughs> you disgusting moron. <laughs> You can be Austin Powers in your very own home, baby. You get the Austin Powers mop top, choppers, coat bottle shades, plus an authentic cheese wheel. You can go from this, what's this for again, to this. Now you want me to say, fantastic? What the hell for? The Austin Powers shagging kit. Elizabeth Hurley not included. Wow, the writer's room. No, Biff, shoot the phlegm beast first, then use your flame thrower. Oh. oh, hi, Timmy. Guess what? I just read an awesome script. It's by two geniuses who never get the credit they deserve. Cool. Uh, let's put our names on it. <laughs> Wait, our names are already on it. It's one of our old scripts. Waiting for Frenchie. How come you never showed it to Harry? It's poetry. The only kind of poetry Harry understands is on the bathroom wall. <laughs> oh, that was mine. It took me forever to come up with a rhyme for Venus. <laughs> you guys can't give up on this. You must grab Destiny by the pants and make it dance. Dance, Destiny! Dance! Wow! Who said that? A certain Mr. Frenchie. <laughs> In waiting for Frenchie. Ooh. He's right. Come on, Biff. Let's go over and show Harry the greatest script ever. Ow! Drek! I've seen better writing on the bathroom wall. Yes! It's pure art. How dare you throw it in our faces? Did someone get a visit from the backbone fairy? Here, take the whole dung heap. Ow! <laughs> wow! Artists at work! I want to be a writer, too. It's all fun till someone loses an... Ow! My ass! Oh, yeah? How's this for a rewrite? Smooth move, x lax <laughs> Eloise. No? Speak to me? Um, as I was saying, get out. Is uh, this about the script or the little guitar thingy? Get out! You're fired! Fired! Cause if it's about the script, we... Jed and Clampett. I didn't want to fire them, but they were violent. They killed Eloise. No worries. Riders always come back. Like a boomerang in your back door. Who oh, no, knew? They're gone. I know them. They have far too much pride. Pride, I say. Hubris. But they should know pride goes before a fall. <laughs> So, what about my writers? Forget the writers. You need a computer. They can do anything. What's this? <laughs> computer, shrimp. <laughs> See? If you can do that, you can sure as crap write a script. A writing computer. But where would I... The delivery man should be there. Package from Mr. Harry Waller? Yes. I love being rich. Greetings. Your name here. My name is H-A-N-K. But you may call me Hank. Wow! A supercomputer! Meet Hank. It's our new writer. A computer? A computer can't do half the work of what Biff and Stan did. I do exactly half. The writing half. It's the picking my nose part that I have trouble with. <laughs> hmm. Can you write anything besides booger jokes? I need scripts. What would you like? Let's see. Violence, 10. 
Romance, 10. Target audience, male or female. Why not both? I can't seem to get both buttons in. Timmy, hand me my right of persuasion mallet. <gasps> Voila! Cyber Gold! Stepmom 2 Judgment Day? Sounds kind of dorky. Dorky like a fox! <laughs> Start the cameras rolling at once. TCC is back in business. Tonight, I want to see something sentimental. But yo, I want to see something explode. At last, TCC and Quantity Pictures present a movie you'll both enjoy. Stepmom 2 Judgment Day. Away? Who's gonna be my mommy? <laughs> Don't worry, little guy. You're gonna have a step up. <laughs> and she's a 23rd century cyborg. Did somebody find his mommy? <laughs> Are you crying because you love us so much? That, and because as soon as I stop crying, this bomb will go off. I guess this is a bad time to ask for a bigger allowance. <laughs> uh oh. From the makers of Tender Mercenaries and how Stella got her gun back, you'll need plenty of Kleenex and beer. TCC's Stepmom 2 makes guys and gals happy. And you know what that means. Yeah, baby! That a boy, eh? Spitting out scripts like their spam-flavored gum. You're just a speaking spell with a hard drive. <laughs> and when Biff and Stan get back, you'll see. Sorry, little man. Your friends have left you behind, and they're not coming back ever, ever, ever. You're wrong. You can't hold back great artists. They were waiting for Frenchie. They'll be back. I think not. <laughs> they're gone. Where will they go? Don't worry, I'm sure they've gone to a better place. <laughs> wow, I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. Nine bucks for draft! Heaven sucks! I say we go give that computer a piece of our minds. Yeah, yeah, well, we'd still have some dignity. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most dignified way to borrow cap fare? Oh, oh I, I know. Hey, Mom, can we borrow cap fare? <laughs> sure, if you wait an hour and don't mind singles. Okay, ma'am, let's hear your side. What's wrong? What's wrong? Look what this hairdresser did to my hair. Don't piddle on my shoe and tell me it's sunshine, madam. Your hair doesn't look any worse than mine. Exactly. And it ain't poofy no more. I'll give you poofy. Ooh. Ow! Shush, shush, shush. You, what's your side of the story? So she showed up all late for her appointment and full of tubes. She's all like, cut my hair, cut my hair. So, Your Honor, I cut that hair. He made a frowny face at me, Your Honor. Did you make the alleged frowny face? No. <gasps> Look, he's making it right now. Ugh. And he was the one... Madam. Do I have stupid written on my forehead? Well, no. It's a little above your forehead. Did I say you could speak? Did I? <sighs> Don't twist my kneecaps off and tell me it's Christmas. Now tell me exactly what happened without speaking. Huh? What? You got fire ants in your panty shield? Stand still! First of all, I don't believe either one of you. <sighs> you! I sentence you to be my hairdresser. No! And you! Ow! Lethal injection. Case dismissed. Can I have the injection too, please?
Security alert! You have ten seconds before I destroy you. What? With your dinky little laser? That would take valuable energy. I think I will just insult you to death. We're writers. There's not an insult in the world we haven't heard. Is that so, Acne Lick? Bile suckers, crease weasels, dung sponges. Oh, well, he's doing these alphabetically. Let's go before he gets to F. <laughs> no, we're the writers here. You are obsolete. There is nothing you can do that a machine cannot. Yeah? Can a machine do this? Ow, ow. Prepare to suffer my cyber wrath. Biff, what are you doing with that bat? Duh, this. Ow. 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 called you a speak and spell. One thing I learned from sci-fi movies is machines have feelings too. <laughs> Hank, are you okay? It's the little dude. Go away. I'm, I'm busy uh, net webbing or something, you know, computer -y. Hey, you sound like my friends Biff and Stan. You sure do miss them. Well, that's why we, I mean, I uh, changed my voice to make it more familiar. Wow, that's nice. And weird. Mr. Waller sent me to get the new scripts, but I don't see any. Are you stuck? Uh, easy. Oh, some of us have a hangover. <laughs> Jeez, we gotta write something fast. Hmm, how about Shakespeare? Yeah, yeah, that's easy. Stand by for Shakespeare. TCC presents Oscar's favorite film, Shakespeare in Love. No boy. I am Lady Viola, so in love with Lord Shakespeare that I have disguised myself thusly. But soft, my love approaches. Oh, uh, hi, bud. Hi. Thine words like shears do cleave my heart in twain. Yeah, me too. So, what's up? <laughs> up is the sun. Pale beside my brilliant love for thee. Oh, um, let's see. Oh, about 4.30. My love, let thine winged heart take flight into heavenly words of love. You talking? You talking to me? Speak nay, I beg thee. Shower me once more with your fine poetry. Poetry? <laughs> yes! Pour thine poetic nectar into my vessel. Forsooth, hurry thee up. To you, uh, <clears throat> All right, here goes. Uh, <clears throat> I've seen London. I've seen France. You make me horny. Can I get in your pants? <laughs> oh, well done, Master Shakespeare. That was so beautiful. I can deceive thee no longer. I am no fair-haired boy. A woman? Oh, my weekend's all shot to hell. Damn. His poetry was crap, alas, but I did so love that Elizabethan ass. <laughs> what in the name of Louis B. Mayer are you doing? Morning, Mr. Waller. I'm giving the computer his breakfast. Hmm. I know Billy Gates, but that can't be good for it. Uh, let's go to the commissary, dude. See? I taught him to walk. Mm. Hey, the new Tree Watch script is genius. But this week, I need something even more meaningful. Any suggestions? Uh, none. None, none. I become a nun. Oh, Hank, you're incredible. How come everything I love needs batteries? <laughs> 
The new to rewatch script rules, but it needs a hook. What's your super cyber mind thinking of? <laughs> Nachos? <laughs> More macho? Yes! It hardly seems possible, but you're right! I'll pick up the script in ten minutes. Yeah, after I get my back waxed. <laughs> More scripts! We can't write that fast. Too bad we don't have a computer. Fierce, we're here to prove that we're better than computers. We have to write like we've never written before. It's time for Jeopardy, starring Alex Trebek. We're back with Celebrity Double Jeopardy. The artist formerly known as Prince is here. Please call me unpronounceable symbol. So far, you're not doing too well with a score of minus 3,000. Ooh, that's good nasty. Mmm, no it's not. And next to unpronounceable Academy Award winner Roberto Benigni is doing slightly better with minus 1,200. My heart is swell with happy juice. I'm uh, sorry to hear that, Roberto. And uh, please answer in the form of a question. What do you mean? Close enough. Brock Hammond, star of Tree Watch, you're in the lead with zero. Brock, how do you do it? I say, uh, Brock, how do you do it? Uh, I can't find my buzzer. On to Double Jeopardy. The categories are Presidents, The South Seas, Physics, and Rhymes with Blotocopier. Unpronounceable symbol starts us off, and the category is... Smell my purple finger. Presidents for 200 it is. This song is played whenever the president enters. <laughs> yes, unpronounceable. What is... Uh, no, it's Hail to the Chief. And please put your pants back on. Roberto. I ring a buzzer! I ring a buzzer! Physica for a billion T! Physics for 200. This law of physics reminds us that what goes up must come down. Lava! 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 Lava is the only law! No, there's another law called gravity. Lover, 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 lover is the only... Ooh. Rhymes with Blodo Copier for a raisin. Brock, listen closely. This item is used to make photocopies. Oh, I know this. This I know. Ring your buzzer. I know this. This I know. Rhymes with Blodo Copier. Oh, 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 it's so easy. You big idiot. Let's just say that Brock won, Roberto came in second. I win! I win! Everybody love Alex Trebek! Kiss me in the face! Oh. Ooh. Join us tomorrow when our contestants will be Jennifer Aniston, George Clooney, and a bucket of drool. Snap to it, Hank. I need scripts. You billion-dollar bucket of votes. Stand by. I'm, I'm experiencing technical uh, stuff. You know how to work this thing. Make it give me a script now, and I'll get you a nice new gummy bear. What's going on, Hank? Mr. Waller needs a script. Oh, my, uh, floppy got uh, scuzzy, and I, uh, I, I got nothing. Here, uh, what about this script? Waiting for Frenchie? <laughs> That's Biff and Stan's script, the one you hated. Yes, well, this is different. It comes from the computer. But it's the same script. No. This is from a computer. <laughs> Out of my way. I've got a script to rush into production, and it's going to be big, big, big. They're going to make Waiting for Frenchie. Isn't that great? I should be happy, but this just makes me miss Biff and Stan even more. Jeez, you're going to make me cry. And then we'll all be electrocuted. <laughs> uh, cheer up, dude. As Frenchie says, cheer up, dude. <laughs> Beauty Girl Makeup, $7. Bedroom Eyes Mascara, 9 bucks. Passionate Pucker Lipstick, $5.19. A date who's legally blind? Hi. Priceless. Plaster Card. Plaster the possibilities. Uh, oh. Frenchie is brilliant. Frenchie, well worth the wait. Frenchie doesn't stink. We're as shocked as you are. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. The reviews are in. Frenchie's a hit. We like tell Hank. Quiet, howdy doody. I'm yanking the plug on that glorified Mr. Coffee. The film was a disaster. But the 
critics loved it. Too bad they forgot to tell John Q ratings. More people watched our Leonard Malton bio. <laughs> Let's convert Hank into a Coke machine. Oh, no. <sighs> Take him to the dump. Wait, you got to have writers. I guess that's the moral of our story. Writers are a necessary evil, like boils. Go on, call your pals, you know, something and something else. You're not so mad about the ukulele? Oh, so naive. I've been playing around on Eloise for years. Say hello to my new love, Shoshana. I gotta go find Biff and Stan. See you, Hank. Enjoy the dump. You hear that? We got our jobs back. Great. Now if we can get out of here before my bowels wake up. <laughs> hey, what, what gives? Open up. I'm afraid I cannot allow that, Biff. Oh, no, it's <sighs> Hank. I don't intend to go to the dump. Open up now, bud, or the dump's coming to you. Wait, I think I have an idea. I'm listening. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, baby! As we say back at Digicrud, oh, one, oh, one, oh, one, one, oh! <laughs> ah, bad presents, baby! You're watching...